at the grocery store. I can't say that word. Oh man. It is like the middle of the afternoon and it is pitch black in Portland. Look at this. It looks like it's the middle of the night. I have to figure out lighting. I'll be right back. Is this better? I don't know. I guess maybe I'll work on this uh, in the future. Anyway, what was I gonna say? ADHD moment in the house. Right. Picture it. You just got back from vacation. Your fridge is practically empty. You got a couple of like old vegetables that might still have some life left in them. Here's what I do almost every single time. So let's get going. First thing first, I gotta clean out the fridge and find what uh, I can use as a part of this meal. The first thing I have in here is like half of a head of iceberg lettuce. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty gross. And this is one of those moments where I want you to realize that just because something looks a little gross on the outside doesn't mean that if you just like chop away the outside, it's not perfectly good on the inside. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm definitely gonna uh, open up this. You know, I did have a little piece of cucumber, like a little butt of a cucumber left in there um, from before the vacation. That's not really good anymore. So into the green bin it goes. But the head of lettuce, totally workable. So all I need to do is literally just cut off the outside, like a half an inch all around. And you'll see, as soon as you get past the brown on the outside, it's green inside. Now I know that like iceberg lettuce is like the pedestrian lettuce. It's fine, it's fine. It's not gonna be my main lettuce I go to for salads or really for anything except for this salad. So don't hate on iceberg lettuce. I don't always use it, but I do like it as a filler lettuce. So take a look, here it is in the bowl, chopped up all nice, nothing brown left. All right, so the next thing that I had left in the fridge is this carrot. And you'll notice I have uh, like a paper towel wrapped around it. I actually put that around the carrot before I left because I wanted this carrot to survive. And if I just like wrap it in that paper towel that's been dampened a little bit, look at it. I mean, it stays super fresh, really crispy. You have no idea that it's been sitting in the fridge for a week. And then the last thing I have that I'm gonna use in this particular meal out of the fridge is uh, some of this red onion that I used just a little bit of before we left. It looks great still, no worries here. I don't even need to like get rid of any of it. All right, so this is the part where I tell you what I picked up at the grocery store. So the first thing is gonna be like the little salad kit. So this one that I got is made by Dole, but you can pick up, you know, whoever. I always get the one that's on sale, to be honest. It's like three bucks. I also got a brand new red bell pepper. Looks beautiful. Got this cucumber. And I picked up these uh, snacking tomatoes. They like to give them in different colors. You know, I like plating. I make things look beautiful. That's the first part of your meal is what you see on the plate. On to prep time. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up this pepper. I'm only gonna use a very small part of it, actually, just like a quarter of it. The rest can go in the fridge. And I'm gonna chop it up pretty small. You know, this is a salad after all. I'm not gonna be cooking this pepper. So yeah, you know, kind of cut it to however you like to have your red pepper in a salad. Get my red onion out. Again, I'm only gonna use a small part of this onion. So take a little bit off there and cut up, again, pretty small, like about the same size as I did for the pepper. I love onion. I don't generally love getting a huge piece of it when I'm eating a salad. So yeah, pretty thin. I saved a little bit of the red onion out. We'll come back to that later. I didn't chop it up, but I am putting it in the bowl for when I'm actually making the salad. All right, so carrot, same deal. I'm gonna use about half of it for this meal. It's also not gonna be cooked. So, you know, peel the carrot, 
Give some of it to your dog who happens to be in the kitchen and loves carrots. <laughs> then yeah, just chop it up again to any size that you like having in your salad. Everything in the salad for me goes pretty small. I like to kind of make these little like matchsticks out of carrots. Toss those into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. Now because I'm making this earlier in the day, um, I'm not making the chicken yet, but I am cutting up the raw vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper towel on top of the lettuce. I'm gonna dampen it, lay it across the lettuce, and then I can put the rest of these veg I just cut up right on top of there and put this whole thing into the fridge. I forgot, I also got a cucumber. So same deal here, just gonna peel it. I leave some of that skin on there, it's got some good vitamins. But I don't leave too much on there, it does get a little bitter for my taste. But yeah, I'm not actually gonna chop that cucumber up all the way. I don't want it to dry out too much. So I'm just peeling it, cutting it in half, and putting it on top of the paper towel. So let's talk chicken. You don't have to add chicken to this meal. It is something that I like to add in for me and Bex. You don't have to if you wanna go vegetarian, great, go for it. We do vegetarian versions of the salad all the time. I like to prepare it ahead of time, just like I do with the rest of the greens. All I do is I cut it up into, you know, like three quarter inch cubes and pieces. So when I am prepping it, I'm going to use a combination of some of this avocado oil spray. I'm just gonna give it a really light spray just to coat it enough so that the spices that I'm gonna throw in there with it will just stick to the chicken. And then keep it really simple. I just have a combination of onion powder and granulated garlic. I also put in a little bit of white pepper and some kosher salt. That's it. Cover it, put it in the fridge for later. So when it's time to cook, you just pull it out of there, toss it on the stove. It is time to actually cook dinner, get this all together, ready to eat. Now, because I did all the prep work earlier in the day, this takes like 15 minutes tops. So crack open a beer, set the table. It's a great weeknight meal. So remember that bowl of veg that I put into the fridge earlier? Now it's time to grab it. I do have this cucumber on top, pull that out, get the rest of the veg. Oh yeah, I tossed a couple tomatoes in there too. I forgot to mention that, but I figure rather than taking the whole package out later, just toss a couple in here now. There's that onion that I told you I'd tell you about a little later. And at this point, I can just mix in all those veg that I cut up earlier in with the iceberg lettuce. Now, I am gonna say part of the secret of this meal really is mixing it up in a big bowl rather than kind of just putting it all on the plates ahead of time. Now, grab that salad mix and open that up. You're gonna pull out the toppings. They have like these little crunchy toppings and the dressing in there. You can just toss that to the side for now and mix in some of that salad mix that they have in there. Uh, again, I'm actually not gonna use all of this because I found that because of all of the other ingredients that I put in there, if I use all of this mix, we actually can't finish it. Forgot about the cucumber again. All right, so I'm gonna chop that up. Again, whatever size you like for a salad, toss that in there, give it another really good mix so all those ingredients are in there. I'm just gonna go real quick and show you each of the things that I'm gonna put in with the chicken. You feel free to use some, all, none, but here's what I use. Number one, garlic, because why? Always more garlic. Easy onion squeeze bottle. Man, I'm a big fan of this thing. I use it in a lot of my dishes, love it. I got black garlic puree, you can add that in there. I've got this Japanese barbecue sauce. Ah, this one's one of my faves for this recipe. And oh yeah, a little sesame oil because hey, this is sesame chicken salad. All right, so let's cook this chicken up. Again, it's gonna be super quick. Use a little bit of that avocado oil spray, coat the pan, get that chicken in there, start browning it up. Aha, so that's where that extra red onion came in. I told you, I tell you where it went. This is the moment I chopped it up real small and tossed it in with the chicken. And of course, add the garlic, add the onion. I'm just gonna go ahead and start getting those sauces in pretty quick as soon as the chicken is, you know, mostly cooked. Stir the chicken up, get that sauce a little thicker and it's ready to go. Honestly, this was about five minutes of my time. 
I'm gonna head back over to the salad bowl, get the dressing in there, the one that came with the salad mix. Now again, because we're adding a bunch of stuff, the amount of dressing that comes with the salad mix, like, it's not quite enough, at least in my opinion. So what I always like to do is actually add some extra lemon juice. And then I also have some sesame dressing uh, that I keep in the fridge anyway. So I had just like a tablespoon of that. Give that a really good stir, like coat everything. This is the secret to this tasting delicious is getting that all mixed up before plating it. So get it into the bowls once you've given it a good stir. As you can see, like even though it didn't really feel like a whole lot was being put into this thing, because we added so many ingredients, it actually ends up being a pretty big salad. I'm gonna head over to the stove, pull the chicken right off the stove and put it into the salad. I just put it right on top. I get some of that juice in there. Again, it's more flavor, more delicious. I'm gonna top one of the salads with the little tomatoes I pulled. Just cut them in half. Those are for Bex. I love tomato flavor, but I do not love tomato texture when it's raw. Then go ahead, the last thing in that salad kit are the little crunchy toppings. So open that up, put those on top. I'm gonna grab that Japanese barbecue sauce and put a little bit of that on top of both the salads. It's just like that last burst of flavor that's super delicious. And lo and behold, I'm gonna grab my pickled red onions right out of the fridge because you know I put them on like everything. And we're, oh, I'm almost out of them, so I'm gonna have to make more. I actually might even make more tonight. I've got some uh, toasted sesame seeds that I always keep in the pantry. I don't know, there's just something about really finishing off the plating that is pleasing. It brings your like homemade meal just to that next level. Like this is delicious. And that's it people, like Bex has this and asks for it like maybe once a week sometimes because it really is that delicious. So yeah, go ahead, get the fire going, get the TV show on, get the dogs in the living room and chow down on this salad. Your stomach will thank you, your soul will thank you, and honestly, your wallet will thank you. You know, I use like $4 worth of chicken and $10 worth of vegetables. Please don't throw away those vegetables that are in the fridge. Really take a look at them. Maybe the inside is still delicious. Just try not to waste food. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to making some more recipes for you. If you got any value in this, please hit like if you want to. Helps the algorithm.